All right, guys, I'm just going to go out and say it. Finding a workout routine is difficult. Finding an actually good, consistent workout routine that you can stick to is so difficult because you guys are hearing so much information. If you guys have been like researching on how to find a good workout routine or what's the best workout routine for building muscle or for whatever reason, or you're just seeing all different kinds of information, work out six days a week, one rest day a week, work out for two hours a day in the gym, do this many reps, this many sets. It's just, it's just confusing you. You're hearing so much different information and it's just making you feel so unmotivated, making you feel so turned off by the idea of working out. And you think it's absolutely impossible to stick to something consistent, to stick to a consistent workout routine because you're just hearing so much different information. It's so confusing. And you think that you need to be an expert on it in order to actually do something with it. But I'm here to tell you guys that it's all about that first little step and getting into it first. So today I'm going to be giving you guys a super simple, super easy to stick to workout routine that can work for anyone. It can work for someone that wants to start working out and wants to have the benefits of working out, but they just have a super tight schedule and they don't have the time to actually put a lot of time into working out. And this is also for people that are just starting out, people that aren't experienced with the gym at all, that don't know what they're doing. And I just wanna give those guys a first step. I wanna give those guys a first step to take to actually get comfortable with staying consistent in the gym and if you want to work up from it but this is not something that you have to work up from it's just a choice but i'm giving you guys the first step and you can do what you want with it you can either just stay consistent just stay with that routine or you can work up from it maybe working a little bit more days a week maybe maybe working out for more time maybe doing more high intensity workouts but this is the first step and I'm gonna give it to you guys today. It's absolutely incredible because you only need 90 minutes a week to do it, just 90 minutes. Anyone can do that, not 90 minutes in a day, 90 minutes for the whole week. You can definitely find 90 minutes of free time in a whole week, no matter how busy you are, come on. If you actually want it, you're gonna make the time for it. 90 minutes, that's nothing. All right, so let's get into the first thing. So remember, the gym is about being consistent. It's not so much about how long you're working out each day. It's more about that you're actually doing it, that you're actually taking the time to do it a certain amount of times during a certain week in a consistent period. It's a lot more about staying consistent to build muscle over just doing one incredibly hard workout and then just not doing anything for like a couple of weeks and then going back to it, do another incredibly hard workout then just leaving it. That's not gonna do anything for you. That's not gonna get you muscle growth that's not going to get you strength you're just pretty much wasting your time if you're not staying consistent but that doesn't mean that you have to work out an insane amount of hours in one day this workout routine that i'm giving to you you can start off with just 30 minutes a day and i recommend that you do 30 minutes a day three days out of the week so you can do one day on rest day one day rest day and just like kind of go like that that is what I think is the best consistency if you're going just three times a week. And I think that you should keep the amount of time that you're going to the gym in between 30 to 60 minutes, depending on how much free time you have. But you can still get a really high quality, good workout in just 30 minutes. And if you guys are just working out for around 30 to 45 minutes a day, I highly recommend body weight workouts and cardio in the form of long distance running, jump rope, hitting the punching bag and body weight workouts like push-ups, like body weight squats, pull-ups, dips, that kind of thing. And there's obviously so many more workouts that you guys can do, but those are just like the main key ones that I found the most helpful and the ones that have worked really well for me. But of course you guys can do your own research, find your own different kind of cardio, find your own different kind of body weight workouts to help you out. Now, if you guys are leaning more toward the 45 to 60 minute mark, I still recommend body weight workouts and cardio, but I'm also going to include the option for beginning weightlifting. Now you can still do just body weight workouts for 60 minutes, but I'm adding weightlifting in as like an option for 45 to 60 minutes. With 30 minutes, you can still get a good weightlifting workout done in 30 minutes, but I feel like 
if you're targeting like a certain group of muscles, you can't really get everything done super high quality in just 30 minutes for that muscle group. You can get some stuff done, but I feel like you won't be able to maximize your results in just 30 minutes. So when it comes to 30 minutes, I recommend more body weight workouts and more cardio. People think that you have to dedicate so much time, like you have to dedicate your life to being a healthier person, but it's all about just making sure that you actually do it, that you're actually remembering to do it consistently. It's not so much about a crazy amount of time that you're spending working out and building your muscle. It's about making sure that you're actually doing it and doing it and doing it and you're actually staying consistent with it. And remember, the workouts that you're doing, especially if they're shorter, it's all about the quality over the quantity. So don't be trying to do as fitting as many crazy exercises as you can into one workout routine. Focus on doing the workouts that you're doing and actually doing them right and actually doing them controlled and learning how to do your form much better. This applies mostly to weightlifting. If you guys are just starting out weightlifting, start out light. Focus on building your form first before anything. Don't start lifting heavy right away because not only will an early on injury leave you with, well, an injury, but having a bad first impression of weightlifting is going to turn you off from doing it in the future. And it's going to be an option that you heavily just do not want to do if you have a bad first impression with it. So remember, be smart, start light. If you guys have any questions about form, let me know because I have tons of experience when it comes to weightlifting. I have over four years of experience. I've never been injured and I know a ton about form. So if you guys want help with form, ask me and I will give you the answers and I will help you out with your form. But guys, the main takeaway from this video is that starting out working out doesn't require you to dedicate your life to it. You don't have to go to the gym for two hours a day. Like you can just start out 30 minutes for three days out of the week. You can start out small. And even if you, it's not like a starting out thing, it's more just like a, just adding this to your routine or whatever. It's still great. You don't have to dedicate so much time. You don't need to do this many reps, this many sets for this amount of time. It's just about, just pick a schedule. Try the schedule that I'm giving to you in this video and see how it works for you. Three days a week. 30 minutes each day. Try doing a workout rest, workout rest, just on and off. Or if like for some reason, like one day you just absolutely cannot work out, just take an extra rest day and then maybe work out two days in a row. But just make sure that you guys are working out, not just like three days in a row and then you have like four days off. Try spacing them out as much as possible. That is what I recommend. And if you guys do want to start small and just keep on working up from it. This is absolutely perfect. Just start out with it. And I'm going to be making more videos on different levels of your workout journey and taking you guys up. If that is what you so desire, it is all up to you. The option is all up to you, whether or not you just want to stick with this routine or move up from it. That choice is up to you, but I will be here to guide you. I will be here to help you. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that the information that I've told you in this video has improved your life or helped you to build an actually consistent workout routine and that hopefully it's impacted you differently from all these other people telling you to do all these certain things like you're already an expert at the gym. I'm just giving you guys baby steps. I'm giving you guys the ability to just start out small and work up from it if you truly want to. But if you guys enjoyed, a like and a subscribe would be much appreciated. If you guys have any questions, any concerns, just let me know down in the comments. I will be happy to help you with anything that you want to know about or any questions that you have about anything. But once again, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.